Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host for Big Hawk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. All right, y'all, we're getting right to it. NBA free agency. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. Let's start with the Eastern Conference, right? Mm -hmm. And there's so many things you can talk about, the movement of players, but we're going to kind of, you know, compact it. And we're going to, uh, let's discuss the top four teams, in your opinion, right, for the upcoming season, based on the moves that were made. Because obviously you have some other teams that made some moves and right. they may not move the needle. But based on what was made, who do you believe are the top four teams in the Eastern Conference? With the moves that was made, um, I'm going with Bo Brooklyn. This is in no order, right? You're not going no by order. Okay. Okay. Do you think? Brooklyn, Bucks, the defending champions. All right. Wow. It gets hard. <laughs> it gets real hard. Yeah, man. Miami. I really like what they did. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I really like what they did. Miami, and then. Sixes. All right, so the Bucks, Brooklyn, Miami, and the Sixers. All right, that that's. But you know what? It's it's it, it's what about last year's number uh, five seed? Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say, man, yeah. I'm not sleeping on the Atlanta Hawks because they didn't really need to make too many moves. I like they got a a a, a pickup uh, getting us a, a a backup center, um, and then they didn't have to really sign much because although they made it to the Eastern Conference Finals. They were our players. Yeah, players, Hunter, 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 Reddish, yeah. Red, Reddish. Reddish actually came on late into the playoffs, but he wasn't in that type of shape. But when they did use him, mm -hmm. he played big. And Hunter is huge for them. Yeah. And then they went on to sign uh, their free agents. So I, 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 I can't leave them out. So but that, that'll make it five then. That, so would you put them over Philly or no? Yeah. Right. Didn't they beat Philly in the Eastern Conference in, in, in the playoffs? Yeah, they did. All right. That's valid. All right. Yeah. All right. So let's start from the top. Not to say this is I'm a. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to only go five because I like I know what, what you're the going. Bulls did. All right. The All Bulls right. made some real All right. Big so, bam, moves. this is what we'll do then. We'll make it easy, right? We'll do four. You gave four, and I've, and we'll do honorable mention. We'll do two of those. So, okay. I guess who, Chicago would be one of your honorable mention. Who's the other? I would say the Sixers. All right, so I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. Let's go by, let's start with Brooklyn, right? You right. said they're in the top four mm -hmm. for obvious reasons, even if they made no mm -hmm. trades or, or signed any free agents. Just right. because of their big three, you would have had them there, right? So yeah. do we really need to elaborate on what they did? They, uh, they signed Patty Mills. Patty Mills. That was, I mean, that's yeah. pretty much all they did, And but that was huge. Yes, it was. Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, so that, that, that's obvious. They got right. three elite players there. You mentioned the Bucks second, all right? It's defending champions. Right. Um, big loss by not um, signing Tucker back. Yeah. But big win by getting Portis on the cheap. On the cheap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I, I'm quite sure it was a lot of people actually wanting him on their roster. I, I read a report Miami was looking to get him mm -hmm. and was offering more money, I, I believe. So you got him. Then their, their starting shooting guard was not was hurt. Dante. So as much as we we've, we've been screaming about oh if this was if this team was healthy if the Bucks won it and they they were injured too. Okay. Uh, starting shooting guard wasn't there. He he'll be back. They went back and got um, Hill, George Hill, um, who was just released by Philly. Right. Um, Rodney Hood. They Rodney added Spence. in. Right. So they lost some defense. A big time defensive player. Elite defensive player. Yeah. And Tucker, but um. Giannis wants to be the face of the league. He's going to have to step up and take the little, little challenges that I didn't see him take, especially even though they got through that series with Brooklyn. I never saw him go over and take that challenge to, to guard Ke Kevin Durant. So, no, I mean, uh, you don't have to put your money where your mouth is Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Right? So, yeah, Bucks, I, I, like, I like what they did. They're the defender champions. There's no way you can not have them in there. Absolutely. And then for that, whatever they lost, they gained an experience. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, exactly. They're champs. Yeah. So you also mentioned, so we got Brooklyn, Milwaukee, 
Oh yeah, we're going down to South Beach, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I want let's let's mention the the moves that they did make. So they obviously they got Kyle Lowry, right? Oladipo's back. Mm-hmm. Morris Twin is there now, right? Resigned Duncan Robinson. Mm-hmm. Deadman is back. Tucker. PJ Tucker's there. Uh, Deadman I, um, was never a free agent. I think they signed him for he was already under the contract, I mm-hmm. believe. But yeah, he's back. Then uh, that's pretty much. They lost Kendrick Nunn. That's a big loss. And I don't, I'm not sure about the Dragic situation. Dragic is gone. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Dragic is gone. He's in um, Toronto. Okay, yes. Yeah. And uh, But you got to understand that they kept their core. Mm-hmm. You know, other than, I mean, how can you say kept their core when Dragic is not there? But the reason why I say that because, you know, Dragic was out a lot of games. Even even during the, when they made it to the finals that year. Yeah. And he was out a lot. I believe that's the only reason why... Um, uh, Pat Riley let him go because when they, actually, when they meet him, he's not there. He's, it's not his fault. It's injury, but he's. Yeah. The when when I look at them, mm-hmm. I, I love the moves that they made, but I still have that same issue we had with them the last two years. Too small, man. They still don't have that size. They're gonna get killed on the boards. We've been saying that for we said that right, and it and happened this year in the playoffs. Yeah, but not. Okay, look! Look what they did look, when they when they time they met up with the big the big teams. They didn't they didn't have a problem with the teams they had problems with. Was, they were just around the same size as um as the Bucks. That wasn't a problem. Size wasn't the problem. With, in that in that series, to me, it, they just they they was inconsistent all season, and they got yeah. in the play. They got in the first round and was was inconsistent. We didn't see the Miami of the bubble. In this last playoff, but I'm not worried about their size and all that because what the Bucks had, they didn't have as that much size because they played small ball during this 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 run because Tucker was matching up with whoever they needed to be matched yeah. up with. They didn't make a difference in size, but now Miami has that. Okay. So when it comes to size, as as far as they. Um, um, Spolstra defense and then with P.J. Tucker and that type of mental attitude and it's just not him now it's the whole team Butler Bam all these guys are defensive guys and then you went got an enforcer and, and Morris so I'm not really worried about the size because now you have to match up with them and I and and again, we're gonna, we're not even gonna go into those matchup zones no, because <laughs> because supposed to deep coaching is just it's it's an elite coaching. And with that, what he has, I, I but it, that's the thing. I know what you're saying is making you you really don't know if that's. But don't know, get they are top three. I mean top four. Right, but, even without. But is it enough to yeah. get them over the hump to to come out of the East or possibly win a championship? And that's what I don't know. I know they could make some noise. In the playoffs, it makes them a, some a, a, on some level a contender, but I don't think the elite. Yeah, one thing I've learned from this, well, we knew this already, but it just reinforced it. Just don't count out Pat Riley, man. That dude always gonna find a way, right? That, he be crunching those numbers. That's <laughs> the reason why. That's why where we are now, yeah. as far as when we mentioned in Miami, we don't know. But that that confidence in Pat Riley is, mm-hmm. and that system over there in Miami. And they got all they type of guys. Yeah, and they are not resigned, but extended Jimmy Butler as well. Yeah. All right. So number four, I was a little thrown off. I don't know if you had Chicago in there or Philly. Which one was it? Chicago. Chicago was in the four. So Philly's honorable mention, along with Atlanta. Oh, with Atlanta. All right. So why Chicago there? Obviously, they got the Rosen. They got the Rosen ball, ball, and what, what people don't understand may not be done either. <clears throat> No, because the marketing is still not signed yet. Yeah. So they could be doing a signing trade or pay, um, probably signing him. And But Caruso. Mm-hmm. Most of the reports I, I've seen and what I'm also worried about is how is Levine on defense, right? Will he take the commitment to, to, to get give, give more there on defense? But we know um, DeRozan been in the league for long enough, so pretty much what you get is what you, what you've been seeing is what you're gonna get, and 
he's not a great defensive player. So that's what I'm worried about with them. Their defense will it will it ever will it will it amount up to what they're gonna be able to give you offensively? But knowing that you have a um, Alex Caruso coming off that bench, that's one thing I don't sleep on. His defensive energy yeah. is and what he offers a team and bring to a team. If uh, if they can all pull it together, if they can pull that together over there in Chicago, uh, Chicago might be back in the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. I not not that. back in the playoffs. You got them in the top four. Well, that's contending. Yeah. yeah. So, they, 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 well, listen, that's a definite spot. Well, there. I mean, that's what I those when I'm looking at the East. First of all, when was the last time that you can have you can have a contending team. We're talking about contending for not just coming out of the East, but possibly going on to winning the finals. Mm -hmm. One last time we can say we have four and two honorable mentions that could possibly be in the finals. In the East. When the last time? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been at least a dec over a decade. Now, we, we know they might have, the East might have one team that can come out. Two, two the, teams, two the most. Three max, yeah. But we're mentioning a couple of teams that we... Possibly can get out of there yeah. if everything, you know, everything falls right with them. Yeah. So, so the fact that you mentioned Chicago, um, that's probably a, a pick that most wouldn't agree with. I mean, in the sense of because the, the other three is are pretty much like locks in the top four, right? When you look at the moves that they made, Chicago yeah. is is a wild card. But I get exactly what you're saying. Mm -hmm. They just need to probably add another shooter. Yeah. But I, they have some roster spots. They're not even. I don't think they have a full roster yet. They, they they have a roster because you remember they they, they um see, we with, with teams like that who no, people really wasn't paying attention to you tend to forget about some of the players that they had because like Thaddeus is gone right Thaddeus is gone and so it's uh, <coughs> Sadoransky's out of there he's out of there but you forgot about the the young kid I think he was a rookie or his second year last year yeah I know you're talking about yeah, yeah. yeah I mean he's still there. And and he plays defense. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. So we can't. We kind of think about. We we only looking at the the, the top heavy part. Mm -hmm. uh, Levine, um, and 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 the know, Rosen the ball. Rosen ball. And forgetting they just made a trade at the at the deadline of last season and got a center. Mm -hmm. um, I can't pronounce his name. I'm not gonna butcher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it, it, yeah. Yeah. Kill us in the comment section. Yeah. Right. But he, but he's a baller. Absolutely. You know. And I, and I think if they can pull out all of it together when, and with Ball, a lot of people don't really like Ball because they're looking for a scorer. Scorer. That's not you. They need a, you got High enough IQ. scoring out there, and he's gonna get the. He's not holding on to the ball. He's gonna make the right pass at the right time. Mm -hmm. Timing and all that is important. I think he's gonna make. But if if he can get comfortable there in that organization, he can make the game a lot easier for Levine. Mm -hmm. I agree, yeah. and and I think he can really unlock mm -hmm. Levine's potential. Yeah. All right. Damn. All right. So being that we gave two honorable mentions, we might as well just add two more teams to make it eight. Wh who the other two teams? When we get up out of here. Boston. Boston. But Boston got some. They got some work to do. They don't have a point guard. No. But they, they, they could still be a seven seed. You think? Yeah. Oh, right. they definitely. I mean, I'm not saying Boston ain't making the playoffs. So do we have the Knicks in the playoffs too? Oh yes. All right. Oh yes. All right. So y'all stay I'm tuned. I'm never gonna sleep on, no on, doubt. on Tibbs' defense. No doubt. And then now, now they got playmakers to go along with Randall, and and because even even as well as um as Rose played last year, he's not really a point guard. He's a scoring guard. Mm -hmm. And so I watched him create plays for other people but it's not on the same level what as saying. what a point guard really does mm -hmm. and now they have um Kimba who's back home right and he's gonna you know you know how New York is New York Electric. love that so they love the way he way he handles the rock cardiac but, Kimba yeah. yeah so he's gonna that's and he play making but 48 I didn't agree with the amount of years of contract that they gave him, but he's going to be a big, huge pickup for them. If Well, I already know how he's going to play. He's going to play the game the right way because Coach Tibbs is the coach. So, yes, I, I do have the Knicks at being there in the playoffs. All right, man. So, y'all stay tuned, man. We gave you the top four. Well, we got Philly, Brooklyn. Excuse me, not Philly. Chicago, Brooklyn, Milwaukee, and Miami. Gave two honorable mentions and 
you know, two others to throw out there. All right. We'll never know what's going to happen in between that but time. It's still move being made. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But for now, I, I think the top four that you mentioned is, is pretty much. Yeah, it's pretty much. No one can really go against that, man. So y'all leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Obviously, Knicks fans out there, you probably see your team as being higher because you were a top four seed last year. All right. All right, so that's what the comments is for. Engage, man. Let us know why. Don't say because that's my city. I want to know why based on the moves that were made. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And hit the notification bell. Anything else you want to add? Let's get it on. I can't wait till the season <laughs> starts. <laughs> this is Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Your boy Earl Team alongside my big uncle Alan Team. Y'all be good. Peace.